ever wonder what it's like to be a poor little secretary with a crazy landlord who's trying to extort money from you or, you know, something else in exchange, something not so decent, something naughty, something so despicable and disgusting that you have no choice but to pretend to be your boss's fiance to make sure you're able to afford to pay your rent. <laughs> All the woes of this character in the story. So yeah, today we are going to continue the wonderful story that is married to my boss and we're on chapter four. I have a total of 15 chapters. So in case you guys are wondering where the cats are, they are currently sleeping and eating and doing their thing. So I'm not going to bother them and disturb them for now because we've just seen them in a previous video and the video before that. So I'm going to give them a little break. You know, I know you miss their faces though. So in case you do, this is Lord Byron's Instagram, my Instagram, and this is our TikTok. So how many times am I going to say to so today in this intro? Nobody knows. Even I don't know something like that. But I think that this story so far is super interesting and I'm intrigued and I want to see what this jerk of a boss is going to do and how he's going to fall for our charms because he better fall for our charms. We better have the most happiest ending to the story because that's all I expect from my life, okay? Happy endings. If not in reality, then at least in a story. So yeah, please guys give this video a like and comment for engagement to push my video out into the YouTube universe. And without further ado, let's continue this video. Um, what? Who is she sitting there on my man's desk? Who? I like her. She seems like she knows what's up. Boss lady, you know? Am I interrupting something? I don't know, are you? Kaden was leaning back into his massive black chair, his necktie slightly loosened. His hair tussled like he had gone through it multiple times while trying to figure out the next strategy for his business empire. He looked great. Even better when he looked like not even a single dust particle was able to get on his clothes. How does he keep the black so black without a single dust particle? He looked just as great as the woman who was sitting on his desk, legs crossed while casually having her hand placed on his chest. She wants her hand broken. I think so. I didn't know Alina was so jealous. I'm like totally method acting as her right now and I feel the jealousy burning. Her long black hair laid perfectly while her very expensive looking blouse was buttoned down exposing her cleavage. Oh my god, I felt a sudden stab in my chest. I knew what I knew she was jealous. Oh dear, you're not interrupting anything. It's so nice to finally meet you after Kaden has kept you hidden from me for so long. Really? Okay, if you say so. Warm hearted greeting, cold greeting, warm. Warm person. We can't judge her yet when you're on our side. Nice to meet you too. I'm Olivia Fernandez, Caden's press person. Oh, I was trying to get some information out of him, but he's as talkative as always. Her hand lightly touched his shoulder. Back off, girl. It bothers me. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. So? No, we care, but we are not caring. Her touching him doesn't concern me. Mm -mm, it's called denial. Maybe you can help. Uh, help with what? Are you really Caden's fiance? Her finger tapped her chin in a curious or skeptical manner. She was a sharp one, I could immediately tell. Hmm, but I was sharper. The sharpest tool in the shed. Show her you are his fiance and shock both. Remain silent. I'm gonna shock them, I guess. I'm his fiance. Did Kaden say anything otherwise? Cause I will give him a piece of my mind. No, no, he didn't. I was just wondering. Well, now you know, and also I'm sorry, where's my ring? It happened very quickly, but we're very happy together. I was over the moon when Kaden proposed. What? <laughs> How adorable. But what are we telling the media? Everybody wants to know about your relationship with her. Those noisy forks. You know how they are. Can we just wait for it to die down? That's not gonna happen, Kaden. Not with someone as big as you. I wasn't aware that there would be so much media attention. I, uh... You're engaged to Kate and Scott. What did you expect? Not this. Confident reply, shy reply, confident. Well, not this. I mean... All because you wanted to go to this stupid club. How could I have known this would happen? You could have warned me. So now it's my fault? Hey, hey, no reason to fight. Okay, I like Olivia. I'll let the media know there's nothing serious going on between you two. If we tell them the truth, the media debacle will be massive. And from what I can see, you're not ready for that, Alina. Being Kate and Scott's fiance is a lot to handle. Is it? I'll call you later. Bye, toodaloo. Yeah, about that. Be upset with them for blaming you, Stay quiet. I'm not be upset. I'm pissed off, frankly. You didn't have to blame me in front of her. You want me to scold you now? No. We gotta deal with this mess now. How could I have known that the paparazzi would follow us? The contract mentioned the amount of attention there is on me, hence why you need to behave. As if I read that 50-page looking contract. You. You told me you did. I lied. Uh, I could have taken full advantage of you within that contract, Alina. Don't be so careless. I'm not you. You're certainly not me. I don't have your brain to understand all this terminology. Aw, cutie. I feel bad for her. You're right, you don't have my brain. What? Wait, was that a compliment? Next time, just ask me for help, understand? Okay. 
fine. Sassy response series just was sassy, of course. You would have helped me? I couldn't help the sarcasm slip through. You don't know me, Alina. So just don't make your assumptions. You can leave now. Huh. That's how it's gonna be? You don't know me either, Mr. Scott. I said my pulse racing. And then she runs off. What did I do? My brain couldn't process how I had just went off on my boss. The Caden Scott. What's wrong with you, idiot? <gasps> Alina, what happened? I, uh... Dentist appointment, my cat died, dentist appointment. I have a dentist appointment, root canal. See you. Looking at her now, you think she doesn't have a job. My thoughts were racing, my brain all mushy and my hands sweating. So many things. I wasn't even that into partying, I just, I wanted to annoy him. Everything up till now has been out of my control. My rent, my workload, and then him? I was thrown into this new fake relationship. He was deciding everything and all I could do was listen and obey. All I wanted was to be in control, not let him have the upper hand for once and it backfired tremendously. And I look like an idiot again. Oh, who's that? Riley. She must have seen the news article about me and him. I can't deal with this right now. What? Paparazzi everywhere. What is happening? Like I said, Alina has been my tenant for a long time. We're very close. Is it true that Alina Clark is in a relationship with Caden Scott? Um, I'm not too sure. But you said you were close. We, we are. It's just, I can't believe this. Sneak into your apartment, run fast. Sneak in. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Okay, sneak in. Do it up. Good girl. None of them saw a thing. Alina, Alina. That's right, we're back at home where it's safe. Fork! Just when I thought my dick couldn't get any worse. Those darn paparazzi. Who is it now? Look, I don't have time for your stupid questions. Hi. <gasps> it's our lawyer! Mr. Reese! Not a good time. I doubt there will be a better one. May I come in? Sure. Ah, I hope they have a little thing going on. Make our boss jealous. I saw what happened. Who didn't? I'm sorry, Alina. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Trust me, Mr. Scott would have never put you in so much trouble. He's a cold-hearted jerk. He doesn't even care. What? Did something happen between you two? Did something happen? Yeah. Open up to him. Give him a vague response. Open up. He's just so unbothered by everything, whereas I, I'm just overwhelmed with everything. I can imagine. None of us intended for it to be like this. You were just supposed to pretend in front of his mother. I didn't know he was... This big. No, his name is everywhere, isn't it? I don't keep up with the media that much. I knew he was famous on this business scene, but this? I didn't expect this. Mr. Scott never liked all the media attention either, but the world can help but be intrigued with him. Is it too late to back out? It kinda is. Oh, shoot. <laughs> You'll be fine. Nobody will harm you. Mr. Scott has enough security working for him. I just don't want to be in the spotlight. I'm not cut out for this. Most people would be thrilled. Well, not me. Not me at all. You always have me, Alina. Oh, Wait, is Logan flirting with us? Whenever there's anything on your chest, talk to me and I'll do whatever I can to help. Can you now? It was somewhat comforting to know that there's at least one person who knew about everything. I didn't have to pretend nor lie in front of Logan Reese. I like his name too. And he seemed like a good person. Did he now? Strengthen your relationship with him. Maybe it'll come in handy. Dismiss him and tell him you don't need his help. Strengthen that bond. Thank you for that. I appreciate your help. It's such a messy situation, but knowing I'm not completely alone makes it easier to digest. I'm glad you feel that way. Me too. Is it both our phones? Um... A secret affair, a mysterious handsome looking man was doing what? Spotted entering Caden Scott's new girlfriend's apartment. Does the relationship, what? Does that mean our relationship is already on the rocks? No, the paparazzi man, the gossip mongers. Mm -mm. But this is gonna make our man's jealous, I think. I'm really curious to know what's gonna happen in the next chapter. I've never been more curious. This is a great cliffhanger. Now I'm gonna end it here and we will continue the next chapter together. So if you enjoyed this one, give it a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and I will see you guys later. Bye.